Hey everyone, today we are going to look at exterior angles of a triangle. We're going to answer the question, what is the exterior angle theorem and how can I use this to find missing angle measurements? So first we need to talk about two new words. First one is an exterior angle. This is an angle of a triangle that is formed outside of the triangle when one of the sides is extended. So in this picture right here, the exterior angle is angle D. We extended this side and this new angle was formed. D is the exterior angle. Okay, then this other new word we need to talk about is remote interior angles. So you probably know that interior means inside. So it's gonna be two angles inside of the triangle that are opposite and not adjacent to the interior angles. So in this picture right here, the exterior angle is D. One of the remote interior angles cannot be B since that's adjacent to it. So it is A and C. Okay, and there is a special relationship between the remote interior angles and the exterior angle. And this kind of explains it right here. So remember that lines and the three interior angles of a triangle both sum to 180 degrees. So based off of that in this picture, we know that A plus B plus C, those three angles is going to equal 180. And then B and D form a line. So we also know that B plus D equals 180. So if B plus A plus C is 180 and B plus D is 180, then that means that A plus C must be the same thing as D, which I showed right here. So these two angles added together is going to be the same thing as D, which is what I talk about over here. That's called the exterior angle theorem. So it just says that the exterior angle of a triangle, angle D, equals the sum of the two remote interior angles. So you'll see me doing this, interior plus interior equals exterior. Okay, so let's use the exterior angle theorem to find some missing angles. So remember, exterior angle theorem is that our two remote interior angles equal the exterior angle. And I like to circle the two remote interior angles and box the exterior just to help remind myself of what I need to add together. So now it's easy to see my two interior angles are 46 and 67 and they equal X and I'm just going to double check that I did that correctly. Interior plus interior equals exterior. Yes. So now I'm just going to add those together. 46 plus 67 is 113. So there is the value of the exterior angle, 113 degrees. Okay, same thing on number two, I need to find the value of X. So it's gonna be interior plus interior equals exterior. So 82 plus 33 equals X. Our interior angle plus interior equals exterior. Okay, so 82 plus 33 is 115, so there is the value of x. All right, on number three, they gave us the exterior angle. I'm still going to find it the same way. I'm going to set up an equation by adding the two remote interior angles and setting it equal to the exterior. So x plus 47 equals 90. And we're just going to make sure I did that correctly. Yes, I set my two interior angles equal to the exterior. Okay, now what I need to do is solve for x. Um, I don't just add them together this time. I have to solve the equation. So I'm going to subtract 47 from both sides. And 90 minus 47 is 43. So the value of x here is 43. Okay, same thing over here. They gave me the exterior angles. I'm going to add my two interior angles together, which is x plus 22, and set it equal to the exterior one, which is 121. So subtract 22. 
and I get that x is equal to 99. Okay, number six, I have some expressions for my angle measures. That's okay, I'm still going to do the same process to set up my equation. Interior plus interior equals exterior. And I'm just finding the value of x, I won't have to substitute back in just yet. So my equation will be 4x plus 6x equals 110. And 4x plus 6x is 10x. So 10x equals 110, I divide by 10. And x equals 11. Okay, number six, same thing. It wants me to find the value of x. I'm going to set up my equation the same way I have been. Interior plus interior equals exterior. So 5x plus 110, my two interior angles, equal the exterior angle of 17x plus 14. Okay, this side is simplified because those are not like terms. The right side is also simplified and I have variables on both sides. Now I'm ready to move them to the same side. 5x is smaller, so I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides. And I get 110 equals 12x plus 14. Now I'm going to subtract 14. And 110 minus 14 is 96. And my last step is to divide by 12. And 96 divided by 12 is 8. So I found x, it is 8. Okay, now I am going to use the value of x to find a specific angle. But our first step is still the same. I'm going to do interior plus interior equals exterior. So it's going to be 7 x plus 5 plus 60. My two interior angles will equal the exterior angle of 20x. Okay, on the left side of the equation, I can combine 5 plus 60 to be 65. So my new simplified equation is 7x plus 65 equals 20x. And then I'm going to subtract 7x, and I get 65 equals 13x. And then divide by 13, and x is 5. So I found the value of x, it is 5. Okay, now I need to find angle C, D, F. So whenever the angle is written like this, the one in the middle is the vertex. You can also just trace that pattern on the triangle C, D, F. So we know that 20 X is the angle that we're looking for. So I am going to find angle C, D, F by plugging in to 20 X which would be 20 times 5, and 20 times 5 is 100. All right, last one, same thing. I need to set up my equation, find x, and then determine this angle measure. So same process. It's going to be interior plus interior equals exterior. So it'll be 11 plus 2x plus 5x minus 7 equals our exterior angle of 88. So now I need to combine like terms here. So 11 minus 7 is 4. And 2x plus 5x is 7x. And it equals 88. 
Okay, now I need to continue getting x by itself by subtracting 4. And I get 7x equals 84. And then I divide by 7. And 84 divided by 7 is 12. So I found the value of x. It is 12. Now I need to find measure KML, the measurement of angle KML. So I can tell it's asking for angle M right here, which is 11 plus 2X. So that's what I need to plug into. 11 plus 2X is 12. And I found X, it was 12, so it's going to be 11 plus 2 times 12 and 11 plus 2 times 12 is 35. So that angle measure must be 35 degrees.